Right, hello everyone. Uh, this is um, a quick test of my homemade uh, collective stick. Uh, I'm sure many of you have seen it. It's split a hot S Thrustmaster in two and used the thrust section mounted on its side on a bracket. It really was a Heath Robinson uh, job, this one, as we call it in the UK because I just wanted to see if the concept was going to work. I started flying with an Oculus Rift uh, virtual reality headset a little while ago and having the collective in front of me on the desk just didn't seem right. It should be down by the side. Looked up a few videos, a few people have done this. Uh, this was a real Heath Robinson approach. A few metal brackets, a damper from a um, kitchen drawer unit uh, to, so that it gave some form of resistance with the up and down and held it in place and then I hand carved the old plastic bicycle pump to the very strange shape on the top of the uh, thrust unit and then hot glue gun that in position and then mounted it on a uh, L-shaped bracket metal L-shaped bracket attached to my play seat rig and um, I've had a few flights and I have to say it's been much better than I expected. So the longer stick means you have much more control over the collective and the sense of uh, flying a real helicopter, certainly with the Oculus, is really really good. Um, we're here at Barton Field, uh, scenery done by Ulbix which is just fantastic. So I'll have a little fly around here and uh, hopefully you'll be able to just uh, see the collective at work and also um, admire the scenery that Orbix have done. So we just add a bit of collective on, back stick, left pedal, get up into the hover and over the back of Barton Airfield is a um, city heliport as you can see there and I only discovered this the other day after flying around here for a couple of weeks and um, for some reason it never headed in this direction so if we just take it round at night there's some runway lights here um, to lead you out onto the main field you can just about see them the grass textures are great here all picks have done a fantastic job really so if I just take it out to the main runway, it's a grass strip runway, um, quite a small airfield, they have a few Robinsons and light planes there. And um, I'll take it around and show you the, uh, the tower, the runways and uh, the cafe. Lose a bit of height here. But the scenery extends far into Manchester and um, they've done some unique buildings, there's football stadiums, the uh, Manchester Film Studios, uh, the road complex, industrial units and unique buildings for the UK I think. They certainly look more British from the autogen scenery than I'd seen before. Um, so. Uh, a lovely piece of software and well worth the money especially if you're a helicopter pilot or trying to be a helicopter pilot like me um, here you can see they've uh, got a few landing strips and Robinson over on the right in the car park let's do some uh, I suppose what the tower would call naughty flying and go in the car park and you can see the sort of detail that they've put in here there we have a man standing outside the Robinson over there the car park has an entrance a looks like a barrier they seem to have even put a map up over here of the layout of the airfield and on the right there's a picnic bench and a couple of guys eating by the look of it so if we fly over their heads and head towards the tower 
light aircraft there and picnic benches, hangar. Doesn't look like there's anyone in the tower. It looks like there's a couple of chairs and a desk. So it shows the sort of uh, level of detail they've gone to here. In the distance over there is a very strange building, big blue one, and that's the uh, indoor ski centre. Uh, but as I'm only testing this collective at the moment, I'm not going to head out that way, we'll head back. But certainly the finer control that I've achieved, even with this bodger, um, leads me to think about making a proper collective system. With my um, iRacing rig I spent a lot of money on good pedals and steering wheel and all the bits, vibration uh, units for the seat. Um, with this helicopter sim the stuff that's available is fantastic if you've got the money but I think this will be a second project to try and improve what I've made so far um, because it certainly proves that for really probably less than 20 or 30 pounds in bits and pieces um, and a lot of that was glue uh, you can make a very very good collective unit um, I already had the race seat so the uh, the part the joystick is sitting on normally would have my race wheel on it and the only thing I did do was mount the race seat into a wooden box so that I could screw the collective unit to the side um, and then everything else really was just stuff from the garage so we're coming back down um, towards City Heliport now I'm not a great pilot and I do tend to do a lot of yo-yoing when um, coming back into the hover so it'd be interesting to see if we can get the helicopter down without too much backwards and forwards I should explain I'm recently retired and was looking for something to play around with and um, I've always enjoyed making videos for other purposes and then discovered OBX software and I've always loved helicopters, I flew radio he control helicopters for years um, and then X-Plane I gave it a try and got hooked straight away Digital Combat Simulator I absolutely love as well, the Huey, it's a fantastic uh, helicopter uh, but the amount of um, effort needed to put in on that at the moment is beyond me well, it wasn't a bad landing and uh, we're down in one piece uh, yeah digital combat simulator very steep learning curve if you want to do it well if you just want to take the Huey up in that and fly it around it's fantastic uh, but I've really enjoyed X-Plane and I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, look on my website World Wide Web Wonky Joystick Productions .com, or my YouTube channel and uh, take a look at some of the others. As I say, I normally fly an Oculus Rift setup, but uh, today I've just done it straight on the monitor so the detail is far higher. Um, but if you ever get a chance to try an Oculus Rift and X Plane, do really give it a go. Um, your immediate response will be that the graphics are very poor but the sense of immersion in the uh, simulator is fantastic and I can only highly recommend it. Well thank you for watching and uh, take a look at some of my other videos and maybe give it a thumbs up.